What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we've got a bunch of information and a whole heap of cards from the upcoming Miss Marvel Hero Pack of the Marvel Champions Living Card Game. FFG, the makers of the game, have gone and shown us a bunch of stuff today. And even though we don't cover it as in-depth as we might, because we don't have the card yet, unfortunately, we are still going to be hitting the news about this game pretty gosh darn hard on this channel. So make sure you're subbed if you're not already. So, Miss Marvel and Kamala Khan. Probably where we should start. And if we have a look at the alter ego and the hero here, I mean, recovery of five on Kamala Khan is awesome. That is higher than the average. It is, in fact, the highest we've seen so far. That is tied with Jennifer Walters. That's good. The stats on Miss Marvel, however, are bad. Like, really bad. Thwart of one is terrible. It's joint lowest. Attack of one is terrible. It's joint lowest. Defense of one is terrible, it's joint lowest. The average of all of them is two in the call set. You get one of each. Okay. Well, at least it's going to have good... No. Hit points are ten, which is one below average. And hand size is five, which, to be fair, is one above the average. So, the recovery is good. The hand size is all right. Hit points bad, fought bad, attack bad, defense bad. Frankly, the stats on Miss Marvel don't fill us with joy. But of course we have skills. And they're good. Kamala Khan has an action whereby you discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a Miss Marvel card and then add that card to your hand. Now when we say Miss Marvel card, we mean something like Bruno Corelli which has Miss Marvel and a number out of 15 in the bottom right-hand corner. Not something like a protection card or something along those lines. There we go. It's got to have the Miss Marvel. Now, okay, you will be discarding other cards, and that's a little bit of a pain, but what you will be doing here is allowing yourself to dig for your special Miss Marvel cards, which is good and adds consistency, and we like it. Nice. As for Miss Marvel, what do we have? We have a response. After you play an attack, thwart, or defense event, you can exhaust Miss Marvel to return the event to your hand. And at this stage, I'm going to show you the, my favorite one, at least, that they've revealed so far, Big Hands. It is a two-cost event, and it is a action attack. Oh, look, it's an attack event, so we're good. And what it allows you to do is four damage to an enemy. Four damage is good. Four damage is really nice. I mean, we're going to have a look in a moment. But Thomas Edison, your nemesis minion here, has only got three health. Four is good. And, and anyone who watches my videos on stuff like Key Force, Transformers, etc. will know that I am somewhat of a fan of cheeky damage. So this is absolutely filling my heart with joy. And what you can do is exhaust Miss Marvel and get it right back. And then use it again. It's kind of beautiful and I kind of love it. There are a couple others. We'll have a look at these in a moment. So we like this. This is lovely. Now, the other thing we've got is some really quite useful support here. Now, I already mentioned Bruno Corelli very briefly earlier. It has an alter ego action, i.e. an action which can only be used when you are Kamala Khan, not Miss Marvel. You exhaust Bruno Corelli and you attach one card from your hand face down under him. You then have an action whereby you exhaust Bruno Corelli, and this can be done regardless of what mode your hero is in, and you add up to three cards attached here to your hand. So what you're really doing with Bruno here is just building up for a big turn later on. Whacking three cards or up to three cards under him, you can whack as many under as you like, you can only get three back at a time. And then at one point you're going to go, right, 
big turn. Because remember, all the cards have a certain amount of resource that they generate when you discard them from your hand. And they've all got a certain cost that you need to pay in order to play them. So if you can have a larger hand size, I mean, you're going to start with a hand of five or six. This puts it up to eight or nine. That gives you a lot more options for your turn. Now, we've also been shown Nakia Bahadir. And it's again an alter ego action whereby you exhaust her and you reduce the cost of the next card you play this phase by one. So big hand goes from a two cost to a one cost. Now it's not in the article that FFG published, but over on the live stream they did give us just a couple of extra cards that were not featured in the article they published. And they did show us another support character. Amir Khan, not the boxer, has another alter ego action whereby you exhaust him, place one card from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck, and then draw a card. Well, this has got to be awesome. Firstly, you are drawing an extra card. You have more cards in your hand. Now, bearing in mind, we've got Bruno, who we've just looked at, that can help you out in this respect a lot as well. And you're getting a card from your discard pile onto the bottom of your deck so that it can come back around again. That's very, very nice. Don't forget, of course, that if you're using Kamala Khan's skill, that is going to be discarding cards from the top of your deck. This allows you to go and grab them back under the bottom of your deck. So this is very nice indeed. Now, you may wish to play this with the protection aspect, in which case we do have a couple of cards we can show you. Tackle is a free cost event with a hero action, Miss Marvel only, whereby you stun an enemy, but if you pay for this card using a fist resource, you deal free damage to that enemy. Now, bearing in mind we've got stuff like big hands that deal four damage, that's really, really nice. Quite expensive, but still pretty gosh darn good. We've also got Energy Barrier, a two-cost upgrade, which uses free reflection counters, and it's got an interrupt. When you would take any amount of damage, you remove a reflection counter, and you prevent one of that damage to deal one damage to an enemy. Well, that's quite nice. Once again, this cheeky damage is coming in rather nicely indeed. If, however, you'd prefer to have a play around with the leadership aspect, might I introduce you to Morale Boost, a one-cost event with a hero action. Choose a hero. Until the end of the round, that hero gets plus one fort, plus one attack, and plus one defense, which is nice, but it still only brings up Miss Marvel to average stats, which is, um, not ideal. But this can be used onto any of your characters. You do get three copies of one card for each of the other three aspects, so you are going to get some cards you can use, not necessarily with Miss Marvel, but with whichever one you like. Now, of course, with a new hero, we will also need a new obligation, and we have one. Home by Dawn. When it comes out, you give it to the Kamala Khan player, and you may flip to Alter Ego form and choose. Either you exhaust Kamala Khan and remove Home by Dawn from the game, or you discard one Persona support you control, but if no support was discarded this way, this card gains Surge, and you discard this obligation. Cool. And of course... We're going to need a Nemesis minion. Now, I did mention Thomas Edison briefly earlier. Free scheme, one attack, free health, and it cannot take damage while you are engaged with another minion. Nothing too special about Thomas Edison, if I'm honest with you, but you know, it's nice to have a it's nice to have a proper nemesis, isn't it? Now, over on the live stream, we were actually show Nova, a new ally. A four-cost ally with one fort, though you take a damage, and two attack, which is quite good for an ally, though you take a damage, and three health. And it has an interrupt. When an enemy initiates an attack against you, you may spend a lightning resource to deal two damage to that enemy. Once again, it really fits with a whole cheeky damage theme that we've got rolling with Miss Marvel here. 
Now, there were a couple of other cards that were shown from the Miss Marvel deck over on the live stream. It's why we've got slightly worse versions of them. No, no, not quite so neat. So we've got Concussive Blow, a Justice card, a free cost event, and a hero action. And what it does is you confuse an enemy, and if you paid for this card using a Fist resource, I know they're not the actual names, you deal free damage to that enemy. And that might sound a little bit familiar. It is almost exactly the same as Tackle, except it is a Justice card, not Protection, and it confuses rather than stuns. Other than that, same card. Literally exactly the same card. And we have a couple other events. We have Sneak By. Now, this is a hero action. It is a thwart event, which is lovely, of course, because it means it can be reused or at least got back into your hand using Miss Marvel. That is very nice indeed. And what it does, it is a two cost, it's a hero action. You remove free fret from a scheme. Pretty nice for removing fret. If you want to remove fret, might I also introduce you to shrink? Seems like it came from very similar artwork. A two cost upgrade, and it's got a hero interrupt. When you play a thwart event, might I suggest sneak by, you exhaust shrink and increase the amount of fret that event removes by two. So clearly here, if you play with the two of these together, you are removing five fret. That's pretty good. I'm all on board with it. And of course, with there being a new hero deck, yes, of course we've got a new playmat. It looks like this. It is beautiful. I'm just a little bit sad that I already know there is no way that I'm going to be able to afford to collect all of the playmats. Sad, ladies and gentlemen, but true. So there you go. Miss Marvel is coming. We've seen some cards. We've got some information. And this is a point in the video where I'd like to know what you think about the lovely Miss Marvel. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, where we talk about, well, Marvel Champions and whichever other games take our fancy. And please do make sure you're checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can get some bonus podcasts, support the channel, etc. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.